Properly using fork terminals is easier than you may think. Let's cover how to use fork terminals with a common bus bar. The first step is stripping the wires to the proper length. Pay careful attention not to damage the insulation or conductors when stripping. With your wires prepped, line up the terminal into the proper crimp nest. You'll notice the colored dots on the crimping tool indicate the nest by gauge. Next, you'll insert your wire into the fork terminal body, making sure that the insulation butts up to the inner barrel. Now, simply complete one full ratchet cycle. Once the crimp cycle is complete, you'll want to perform a tug test. Gently pull from both sides of the connection point to ensure that the connection is solid. With your terminals properly installed, it's time to activate the heat shrink with our heat tool. Epoxy-lined heat shrink should be used in marine environments to create an environmentally sealed connection. Now it's time to install our fork terminals onto our bus bar. Start by loosening the screws you intend to use. Now take your locking fork and press it into the screw. You'll want to apply enough pressure to the fork terminal to allow it to firmly hug the screw body. With the fork terminal in place, you can tighten the screw. With a gentle tug, you can see just how durable this connection is. Notice that the fork terminal does not move. Now, we just need to repeat the process with the remaining terminals. And that's it. We have successfully installed our fork terminals to the bus bar. Fork terminals are extremely useful in electrical connections. They are available in 22 to 18 gauge, 16 to 14 gauge, and 12 to 10 gauge sizes. They are also available in bare, nylon, vinyl, or heat shrink insulation. Fork terminals are an obvious choice. They offer durability, versatility, and longevity, even in the toughest environments.